topic that we have today is all about the arithmetic sequence. Now, before discussing the, already discussing the arithmetic sequence, so let's have here the introductory questions. Uh, the question that we have here is, have you ever wondered how outcomes in certain real life could be solved mathematically? The next is, what business man used to predict future sales? Then the next is, how do bank executive deals with fluctuating rates such that the business does not go bankrupt? Then the next is, have you ever asked yourself how epidemics and nature use the tools of mathematics? And the last is, have you at some point in your life used numbers to be able to make sound and logical decisions? So these are the introductory questions that's related to arithmetic sequence. So let's have first this problem. So what we're going to do is to have a wild guess. So there are 26 in the front row of the theater. So each accessible row contains two more seats than the previous row. Then if there are 18 rows, how many seats are there in the last row of the theater? So in the problem, uh, there, uh, in the problem, what we're going to do is to have your answer um, can be in wild guess. Because uh, with this, we will go back. Uh, we will natin. We will. Um, discuss this problem later part of the lessons. So, so we have here 20 seats in the front row of the theater. Then after that is uh, each row contains two more seats. So, nadala ganon siya ng dalawang seats. Um, compare those sa previous. Then, if, kung meron daw na 18 rows sa theater, ilang seats daw ang meron dito sa pinaka last row, which is the 18 row. Let's have first your seat per time that, yeah, that will be lasted for 10 minutes to answer. So this is the defining a arithmetic sequence. So to define the arithmetic sequence, what I'm going to do is to watch a video from this link. Then you know, all you have to do is to click the link and complete the prior model below. So we have here the definition, the facts of the facts or characteristics of the arithmetic sequence. You have to give your own example and you have to give also your own non-example of the arithmetic sequence. Now in this video, uh, you will be able to identify what is the arithmetic sequence, how to identify if the given is arithmetic, and how to identify if the given is not arithmetic sequence. Now, if you're done, you can pass your answer to our LMS. Then after that, another activity that we will have is, uh, that will be lasted for 10 minutes also. We have where the direction is. The direction of the activity is tell whether each sequence is arithmetic or not. So you will be able to identify if the given is arithmetic or uh, if the sequence is arithmetic or not based on the video that you will uh, napapanood niyo. So example we have here 12, 16, 20, and 84. If the given is arithmetic, you have to check yes. If the given is not arithmetic, so you have to check no. So yun po yung gagawin sa ating sit work or sa ating uh, activity number 2 so we have here another we have to find the end term of the arithmetic sequence in finding for the arithmetic sequence ito ang tayo ng formula na a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d or the a sub n is the uh, the end term of the sequence or, or the arithmetic sequence Yung a sub 1 is the first term, uh, the, the n is the term, and that is based on the a sub n, and we have here the which is negative uh, minus 1 that is constant on the, uh, the formula, and the b is equal to the common difference. Common difference is, uh, from the word itself, common difference. Uh, yun yung common sa kanila sa sequence, yung, the dif yung difference nila ay common. So, to clearly uh, understand about common difference, let's have first the example. So we have find the 50th term of the sequence 18, 22, 26, 13, and 34. So this is a this is ating sequence 18, 22, 26, 30, and 34. So we have first to identify your common difference or the letter B. Uh, we have been able to find for the letter B. So we have to track the 22 by 18. Yeah. 22 to 18, the answer will be 4. 
So then 26 to 32, then there's also 4. 30 to 36 is 4, and 24 to 30 is also 4. So then for our T here, it's equal to 4. Then, the end. The end is based on the given or based on the problem. We have 50 terms, so n is equal to 15. Then, the, based on the sequence, we have the a sub 1, which is 15. Next, uh, to use the formula, so we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the d. Our a sub n is equal to a sub 15 because our n is equal to 15. Then a sub 1 is 18. And this one here. That plus, plus. This is 15 minus 1. And our d is from here, which is 4. Then a sub 15 is equal to uh, 18 plus 15 minus 1. That is 14. Then times 4. Then a sub 15 is equal to 18 plus multiply natin tong 14 times 4 plus after natin multiply yung 14 plus 4 ya add natin sya kay, uh, kay 18 ang um, 14 times 4 natin ay 56 then a sub 15 is equal to so 56 plus 18 na nakarang tayo dito ng 74 as the sub 15. The next is we have find the 27 term of the arithmetic sequence. So based on the given, we have to find the number n is equal to 27. Then the a sub 1 is 5. And your d, 8 minus 5, we have to find 3. 11 minus 8 is equal to 3. So therefore, uh, Automatically, your D is equal to 3 or the common difference. The next is you have to, you have to use the formula. Okay, so the formula that we will have here is uh, A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. Now, we have A sub 27 is equal to 5 plus 27 minus 1 and your d is equal to 3 then the same process what we are going to do is to subtract so we are going a sub 27 is equal to 5 plus 26 then times 3 so we are going to simplify uh, natin yung 5 uh, 26 uh, rather 26 times 3 yung sagot na ni add natin kay 5 automatically magkakaroon tayo ng a sub 27 is equal to 83 the next problem is in the arithmetic sequence 8, 14, 20, 26, and 32 which term is 122 so ang lahat naman natin dito sa ating given is the term of 122 so the same problem uh, the same formula we have to use the a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus and minus 1 times the d. So in this in this case, we have a your a sub 1 is equal to 8. Then uh, 14 minus 8, we have a 6. Then twenty minus 14 is also so 6. So therefore, our d is equal to 6. And which term? So ang hanap natin ito is the end. 22 is considered as a sub n. So, let's plug into the uh, formula. So, magkakaroon tayo dito na 122 is equal to a sub 1 is 8 plus this is n minus 1 and your d is equal to 6. Then, 122 transpose natin siya. So, minus 8 is equal to plus n minus 1 times 6 then 122 minus uh, 8 subtract lang natin so 122 minus 8 is 114 is equal to the separative property so n times 6 is equal to 6n and negative 1 times 6 is negative 6 then we can collect natin to doon so we have 114 plus 6 is equal to 6n then this will be 120 
So, 1 and 14 plus 6 is 120 is equal to 6n. Then, divide both sides by 6. Cancel out. So, your n is equal to 120 over 6. So, therefore, now we're going to divide 120 divided by 6. The answer will be 20. So, yung n natin is 20 squared. In short, yung 122 term, yung 122 ay pang 20th term. Okay, so let's go back with this uh, problem. Yung kanina problem natin. So, there are 26 in the first row of the theater. Is accessible but contains 2 more 6 than previous row. If there are 18 rows, so how many seats are there in the last row of the theater? Uh, to solve this given, so makalagay dito sa dito, we have the 26 in the first row. So therefore, the 8 of 1 is equal to 20. Then, each, each successive row contains 2 more seats. So therefore, our D is equal to 2. Then, if there are 18 rows, so makalagay tayo dito ng our L is equal to 18. So the question is, ilang upuan daw ang meron sa last row. So, formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the d. So, therefore, may kakaroon tayo dito na a sub 18 is equal to 20 plus this is uh, n natin is 18 minus 1 and the difference is 2. So, a sub 18 is equal to 20 plus this will be 17. What is my name? 17 times 2. So, a sub 18 is equal to 20 plus 4, 17 times 2. The answer, uh, kung multiply natin, 17 times 2, this will be 34. Tapos, i-add natin kay 20. a sub 18 is equal to 54. 6. And 54 seats in the last row.